Hello, welcome back to my channel. It is me and I'm here with my That's Expensive update for the end of May. This is a Fantastic Ladies Facebook group project. Basically, you're just choosing the most expensive things in your collection, whatever that looks like to you, and getting some use out of them, setting your goals however you would like. I have chosen usage goals for all the products because I don't have anything anywhere close to finishing. So that's what I've done, and um, we're going to roll some things out and then roll some new things in for this update. So let's get to it. I do have some rollouts for this update, so we are going to talk about those first. We have uh, two blushes. The first is the Buxom Waterless Primer Infused Blush in Goa. Beautiful berry color. My goal was to use this 10 times. This line of blushes, this primer infused line, is one of my favorite formulas so I didn't think that was going to be an issue at all uh, but I did use that one 10 times so we're going to roll that one out. The same goes for the Mykonos shade. This is just beautiful and I love it and it's a perfect summer shade but I've used it 10 times so we're going to move on. The Milk Makeup Flex Highlighter in the color Lit. This uh, is what this guy looks like. My goal for this was to use this 10 times I don't know that you'll be able to tell, um, ultimately I would have loved, oops, ultimately I would have loved to expand the pan on this a little bit, but I didn't, I don't think, I'll try to pull a, a like a screenshot from the video where I rolled this in and, and see if there's any difference. I don't really think there's a huge difference. I'm still going to have this for the rest of my life, probably. I do love this highlighter formula. I don't think think they make it anymore. Every time I try to link it, I, I feel like I can't. So that's unfortunate because this is really beautiful. And this color specifically, I love it so much. The next product is the Iconic London um, Illuminator in Original. And my goal for this was to use this 15 times. And I've used it once, but I did not really like it. So I'm going to roll this out with the potential of decluttering it. I, I don't use a liquid highlighter that often. I think this came in like a subscription box or something at some point. I know I didn't buy this, but I just didn't love how this looked. So I think I'm going to roll this one out. Uh, I only used it, I think I used it once and I just, I didn't care for it. I do have some products that are still a neat project that I didn't grab to show you because I'm not moving them. Uh, you'll be happy to know that the Hourglass Canvas lip gloss is still in here. I am wearing it today. I've got four more uses, okay? It's getting there. It's getting there. I don't know why I don't wear this gloss. I like the gloss a lot. I just... The Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Hustla Baby Highlighter. Um, I've only used a few times. I was also focusing on this highlighter. Um, and then the Marc Jacobs Editorial Palette. I have not used every shade in there. Uh, I think I wanted to use every shade three times. So I have not done that yet. The new products that I'm going to be adding in are more of the same. So we have the other two Buxom blushes that I own in the Wanderlust Primer Infused line. This is Dolly, the classic Buxom shade Dolly. A beautiful shade that goes with just about every makeup look. It's really quite lovely. So I'm going to use that one 10 times and then also Seychelles, which is a more neutral color. And I feel like this has more of a noticeable sheen than some of the other primer infused blushes. So I don't use this one as often because I don't really love a sheeny blush, but I do want to get some use out of this. So also 10 uses. For this. Um, I have a cream blush. This is the Fenty Beauty Cheeks Out Crush on Cupid, this bright pink. And my goal for this is to use this 10 times as well. I definitely neglect my cream blushes. I love my cream blushes. I just, I mean, it, it's hard. I just neglect them. It's hard. This is a first world problem and I know I've brought this on myself, but it's hard to I can, I only wear one blush color a day. Like I, I can't, I mean, I guess I could wear more than one a day, but I, I don't want to do that. So these types of projects are a good way for me to rotate through things because I tend to forget. And then the Becca, 
which is now Smashbox, <laughs> but the uh, mine is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Opal, this little mini. And my goal for this is to just expand the pan. I don't have a set number of uses. I feel like it's going to have to be quite a few to really expand the pan. Um, but I would love to make this pan larger and then just feel even better about getting closer to potentially finishing a highlighter. Even a mini highlighter would be a huge accomplishment, okay? Okay, that is my update for the That's Expensive project. I'm really enjoying this project. I don't own, you know, a ton of high-end makeup. I and, and it doesn't have to be high-end. It can be whatever is expensive in your collection at this point. Drugs for makeup is basically expensive makeup. It's it's all very expensive. But I just, I'm using this as a, a way to just kind of rotate through. I love my affordable makeup, uh, like my ColourPop and my Milani and my Catrice and Flower Beauty. You know, I love those makeup brands at NYX. And so I, it's easy to just kind of get stuck in a rut of using just those things. And I, I need to kind of switch out my makeup basket monthly, like more intelligent people seem to do, to just rotate through things more. But it's just easy to get stuck in a rut, you know? So I'm using this as a way to just rotate through things, and get, get use out of things. Hopefully you enjoyed this update. If you're doing this project um, either on YouTube or just kind of doing it on your own, I would love to know how your progress is going. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will talk to you in my next video.